Hello viewers, so in this uh, video we will solve these uh, uh, interesting uh, questions. We want to find the exact values of this trigonometry uh, function. So let's start with the first one, which is the A. So we want to find sine. Um, so here we just let alpha, we we'll let this to be alpha and this to be beta. So if you do that, it means we'll have what sine alpha plus beta, which we can write as what sine alpha cosine beta plus cosine alpha sine beta, right? Okay, but what is alpha? Don't forget that alpha is what cosine inverse of 1 over 2 and beta is uh, yes let's do it here beta is what is sine alpha 3 by 5 so with this uh, this will become what this means that cosine of alpha is just what 1 over 2 and this will mean that cosine, sorry, sine of beta is 3 over 5. So here, what does this mean? This cosine inverse is either in the first or in the second quadrant, since the range of cosine is 0 to pi. Then cosine is positive. It means you are either in the first or in the fourth quadrant. So we take the one that is common. The first quadrant is common. Now, since the first quadrant is common, it means we can have something like this. Let's draw this quadrant here. We are in the first quadrant. So it means we can have our alpha here. So cosine of alpha is one over two. So it means the adjacent is one. And this will be the hypotenuse is going to be 2. And so now we need to find what is the opposite. And what is the opposite? This will just be what? The square root of what? 2 square minus 1. Which is going to be the square root of what? Uh, square root of 3. Okay. Now, the same thing here, here we are going to have also, this is sine inverse, sine inverse is either in the first or in the fourth quadrant. Remember the range for sine inverse is minus pi over 2 to pi over 2, right? And here sine is positive, so it's either in the first or in the second quadrant as well. Um, so I think, uh, what does that mean? It means we will also be in the first quadrant. So we'll be in the first quadrant. Now in the first quadrant, we have this. This is the first quadrant. Sine is 3 over 5. So it means this will be 3 and this will be 5. So we can get what is the adjacent. Adjacent here is just going to be the square root of what? 25 minus 9. So it's just going to be 4 by Pythagoras theorem. Okay, and this is what is beta. So I think we are good to go now. Now, remember we are looking for sine alpha plus beta, which is what? What is sine alpha now? sine alpha do we know sine so uh yes we can get sine alpha here so if you come here we know cosine alpha is one over two so sine alpha is going to be root three over what over two so this is root three over two what is cosine beta cosine beta we have to come to beta here 
we can get cosine beta from this. Cosine beta is going to be 4 over 5, which is adjacent over hypotenuse. So this is 4 over 5. Then plus, now cosine of alpha is already known. Cosine of alpha is this, which is 1 over 2. Then sine of beta. Sine of beta is this one, which is what? 3 over 5. Is that okay? And uh, so what do we have here? This will give us 4 or 3 plus what? Plus 3 all over 10. So this is the answer of this one. Okay, so this is our answer here. What is the answer? Is this one in this box. 4 root 3 plus 3 over 10. Okay, so uh, we continue with uh, the B part of this question. And uh, what is it? Cosine of cosine inverse of minus 3 over 2. So in the same way, we will let this to be alpha and this to be beta. So this problem will reduce to finding cosine of alpha minus beta, which is nothing but cosine of alpha, cosine of beta, plus sine alpha, sine what? Sine beta. Okay, so, but what is our alpha? Remember alpha here, we're taking alpha to be cosine inverse of minus 3 over 2. So with this, we can say that what? I will take cosine of both sides, so cosine alpha is just going to be minus 3, 3 over 2. So we know cos the range of cosine inverse is 0 to pi, so it's either you'll be in the first or in the second quadrant. Cosine is negative here, so it's either you are in the second quadrant or in the third quadrant. So we take the common quadrant, which is 2. So uh, what does that mean? It means we can have this in the second quadrant. So this is our alpha. So adjacent is will be minus root 3. Hypotenuse is going to be 2, and clearly the opposite is going to be just what? The opposite is going to be 1, if you use Pythagoras' theorem. Okay, so um, then what else? Let's see, we need to also find uh, beta. So remember we say beta is what? We're taking this to be beta, sine inverse. Yes, this is our beta, sine inverse of minus half. And this is minus half. Let's write it correctly. So this is in which quadrant? Either in the first or in the fourth quadrant. That is sine inverse, because the range of sine inverse is minus pi over 2 to pi over 2, which is just something like this from pi over 2 minus pi over 2, so you are around the side, either in the first or in the fourth. Okay, uh, now if you take sine of both sides, we'll have sine beta is going to be what? Sine beta is minus, minus 1 over 2, and this is going to be sine is negative either in the in the what in the third or in the fourth so it means that we will take the fourth quadrant it's common so we go to your fourth quadrant then we will have this there so let's say this is beta sine is opposite so this is going to be minus 1 over what? Over 2. Is that okay? 
then we can find what is going to be the adjacent the adjacent clearly is going to be root of what root of 3 by pythagoras theorem okay now i think we are set to go back here now we come back here we have cosine alpha what is cosine alpha cosine alpha is already here which is minus root 3 over 2 then cosine beta we can get our cosine beta easily from this cosine beta is going to be adjacent uh, no cosine beta we have to come here this is beta so we can get cosine beta from here which is going to be root 3 over what adjacent of our hypotenuse yes cosine is positive so this would be root 3 over 2 right then we have plus then we have sine alpha what is sine alpha sine alpha is what do we have sine alpha we have cosine alpha we can get sine alpha from here and what is sine alpha sine alpha is one over two so this is going to be one over two then what do we have here we have sine beta we can come here to have sine beta which is minus one over two right sine beta is minus one over two yeah because we are in the first quadrant so with this we can have that this is minus root three minus root three so this is just going to be minus three over two and uh, what do we have here this will just be minus no sorry not over two but over four and this will be minus one over four so we have minus four over four which is equals to minus one all right so the answer it's minus one okay i hope everything is clear thank you for watching